Hey guys, what's up? This is Spencer from Pixel and Bracket. This is a little bit different video. I thought I would show you how I stream to multiple sources, YouTube, Twitch, etc., and interact with people on those sources. How I kind of pull it all together. By the way, don't mind this. I just did a live stream about my sketchbook, like a sketchbook tour, and uh, this is still up. So this is a camera pointing straight down. In fact, it shows a uh, this view. Okay, moving on. So check this out. I know that there is like an infinite screen in the center here, right? But this is open broadcaster system or software, open broadcaster software. And this is what I use to do my screen recordings. Check it out. Stop recording. See, it says stop recording. It also says start streaming. So I use this to stream and to screen capture. Let's see if I can open up the settings, please. Okay, so if I open up the settings, and go down to stream. The way that live streaming works, and this isn't gonna be step by step how to do this, but I'm gonna show you how I do it. And if you have questions, hit me up in the comments or send me an email and I can answer you specifically things of how to do this. But this is a, just a quick run through. You set up you know, a custom streaming server, you, you set up your URL, which I used re, I use restream.io to stream to uh, multiple sources, um, and then there's a stream key which remains hidden because that like allows someone to stream on your channel. You don't want that. You don't want to show that. But you that stream well that stream key is important because you use that to uh, stream to the other places. So you take this stream key from here, and we'll cancel out of this, and we take that to restream.io. See the stream key down here you input the stream key there and next thing you know you're streaming to Restream and what Restream does is it takes your stream and splits it out to all sorts of different channels. Notice the two channels that I have set up are Twitch and YouTube. I can add a channel and you have all types of channels here that you can add as well as custom platforms which costs a little extra money. This is a free, this whole thing is free but if you want to do an extra custom platform like Facebook Live it will cost a little extra. Also double like doing two different Twitch streams or two different YouTube streams, so two different channels, things like that, that costs a little bit extra as well. But for what I do, streaming to YouTube and streaming to Twitch, that's free, and I'm clicking over to the wrong place. There we go, dashboard, okay. So I have two channels here. I'm not live streaming right now, so obviously it's not connected to those two channels, but what I can do up here is I can change the titles on both of those. Notice the last stream that I did was my 2017 sketchbook tour. And I can literally edit this and copy paste it and then update and it updates the titles on both YouTube and Twitch at the same time. So I can control that from here. Uh, there's social alerts, which I don't think I have set up. I'm not sure actually what monitor is, but chat is the biggest thing I wanted to show you because when I click on chat, I can actually open up because I have a Mac, you can download the, a desktop version of this for PC, but because I have a Mac, I have to open up the web link and this web link, I can style it however I want, but basically here's a preview of it. The chats come in like this and they show logos of where that chat comes from. So I will see a YouTube logo if somebody is chatting from the YouTube chat. I'll see a Twitch logo if somebody is chatting from the Twitch chat. See there's YouTube right there and uh, you know Twitch usually will, will be in there at some point. But anyway, I can launch this chat window. So I launch it and it opens it up in its own window. And right here it says connected to all two channels. So I'm all connected to YouTube and Twitch and it's ready to receive messages. So I just keep this chat window up on my screen or up on my second screen and I just kind of monitor it. And I know when somebody's from Twitch and I know when somebody's from YouTube based on the logo. So that's how I stream to two different sources uh, here in uh, here on here here in open broadcaster software. That's what I meant. So that's how I stream to two different sources in open broadcaster software. Uh, really great software. It's everything that I talked about is free. So you can download open broadcaster software free for Mac and PC. You can do screen recordings. That's how I do all my tutorials. You can set up scenes and hotkeys. So watch right as I press this key, it's going to go to a different scene. My, uh, uh, whatever it's screen capture scene here. And then I can press it again and it goes to my like overhead scene, right? So I can do sketchbook stuff down here and I have all these hotkeys set up so you can really control. It's like a master control of your stream. Um, as well as, uh, Restream.io, being able to stream to multiple platform, platforms, etc., etc. So if you guys have any questions, post the comments down below.
uh, in the uh, chatty place down there. Um, uh, I'll send. I'll put a link. Why not? I'll put a link to Restream and uh, OBS in the description. And uh, that's pretty much it. So if you uh, if you have any suggestions on how to improve my process, definitely let me know. Um, thanks for watching, you guys. Subscribe for more tips, tutorials, and creative videos. And I'll see you next time.